Okay, much better. So we, we're, we're bringing back a couple used examples of ball bearings and tapered rollers, but these are what you would consider a thrust bearing, right? Mm -hmm. And this is yep. a full thrust bearing right this here. This is what you would call a thrust bearing. Okay. And this is going to take an axial load, meaning that whatever you place it on and whatever's going to take the load is going to be pushed on this side and only this side of the bearing turns. And you, you look inside there, you can see there's actually little barrels in there. Um, they are rollers, right? Is that yep, what they, they are? are rollers. Yep. And then the other version? This is an angular contact bearing where it has balls versus rollers, and it does take a thrust load just like this one would, but it will actually, actually take a radial load also. Okay. So actually, it'll take both. What's the cost both difference ways. between the two? This will cost more than this, probably double. Okay. This will probably be double of what this is. And an application for each one of them. I had mentioned like a bar stool, but would this be, what would be the most likely application for those? This would probably be more so for the bar stool. It's probably actually more than what you really need as far as weight. German overkill is a good thing though. Yeah. <laughs> they probably, like you say, they normally take a three-piece one where it's a washer and then your balls with the cage and then another washer and then it just pivots back and forth like mm -hmm. on a... Um, like a caster wheel that you would see. Yeah, a cheap yep. caster. Yep. And what would, where would you see this in application? Those I think we see, I think in like uh, those spindles that come in from the printing places have those in them where they require, there's some pressure on one side, but they also need it to roll okay. in a radial direction also. Okay, so axial versus radial loads. Right. Those are the two right. defining characteristics. Yep. Awesome. Thanks, Laura. Yep. Thank you, Mark. You're welcome. And thanks for the donation of the bearings, too. Happy to do it.